Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for December 6th. So we're just going to see what comes up. This is for whoever it resonates with. This is just an energy that I am picking up on today. The timing is fluid. It could be happening today, could be happening tomorrow, could be happening at any time. Oh, there's some sort of tension. Tension. Five of Wands. Something is tense or there's some conflict of some sort. Hmm. Somebody is putting in a lot of effort to do something, you know, not giving up. Holding strong, absolutely holding strong. Determined. Determined to win. Deher somebody is determined to win something. Now, this is like, this, there could be something new, okay, because this is like coming out of a period of stagnation, you know, something new could be happening. There's a lot of growth on these wands here, so something is growing, something new is growing, perhaps, I don't know. I don't know what that one is. Ooh, independence, uh, this is abundance. This woman is very beautiful, huh? Um, she is. Look at her. She's got curves. You know, she's very abundant. She's very healthy. She is um, got it going on. That's for damn sure. You got this person, whoever this person is, is they they are definitely right where they need to be. Down to earth as well. You see brown, that's very earthy. You know, just in her natural state. At ease. So we have somebody here that is feeling very you know, there's like a, a feeling of richness, and this richness is coming from within. Not only from within, I mean, this woman is rich. She's rich in many, many ways. Oh, we have the emperor here. This is a family man, and he's looking at this woman. Ah, yikes. He said, well, I guess it's not yikes. If you just take a look at this, I mean, he's looking at this woman who's got, we have a man who is interested in this woman who has her shit together. Absolutely. No longer going to sit back and watch. I'm going after what I'm not. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Now, I can't remember what yesterday's reading was. It's gone. I dropped my readings pretty quickly, so I don't know what that reading was. And there may be some competition, because this is a card of competition. Oh, I got it. I got it. This man wants this woman because she's got it going on. And there's no need to stay... Stagnant and, uh, you know, this person, the Four of Swords, has just been sitting back doing nothing, just <sighs> taking a break. And I can't, I, mean, it's, I can't take a break anymore because this, I got competition. Yikes, yikes. So, yeah, it's like I, I'm going to have to go after what I want. You know, I have to take a stand. I have to fight for what I want because this is a warrior. The Nine of Wands is a warrior. 
This is a hero. So, yee! This man is wanting the, to be this woman's hero. And he probably sees that he has competition because she has her shit together. And he can't just sit back and watch and think about it. No more thinking because it's four of swords. I can't just think about it. i got to take some action here. Somebody is going to take some action because of the competition. Ooh. Yep, so we have a we have a man here that he is as a family man, he he's probably looking for his um queen. I mean, this is the king of all kings, the emperor. And this is a queen. This is a queen. So this man sees a woman as his queen. That's what we got going on here. I got to zoom this shit in. Okay. He sees her. This man sees her as his queen. And he can't just sit back and think about it anymore. No. Nope. Time to take some action because thinking about it's not getting anywhere. Now it's time to be that hero, to be that warrior because there's some competition here. You're going to have, this is like a, this is a fight and this could be a fight. It's like you have to fight for what you want. This guy sees it. He's been sitting on his throne watching this woman and, you know, now it's just like time to take some action. Looks like it. Now this is a man who is very wise, very knowledgeable, very protective. Uh, and he's and he wants to protect what he thinks is his so he wants to dominate the situation so we have a man that is about to it looks to fight he's got his armor on he's he's ready to go after what he wants he's like I'm not going to let this go fresh start after being deceived there's been some deception here there has been some lies absolutely uh, somebody's wasted some time and they don't want, they can't waste any more time. This three of wands reversed thing. <laughs> it's funny. Ooh, somebody from the past? He, who has sat around and thought about it for quite some time. Somebody, some, but this man has been really discontent. Not accepting somebody's offer of love or not seeing the love that somebody had to offer. Or not even wanting that love, whatever the case may be, right? Let me focus this in. This is a fresh start down here. Starting over, starting from scratch. Dealing with the tension, dealing with the conflict, dealing with the competition. Somebody is about to take a huge leap of faith. It's like the Seven of Swords reverse, like peeling off that mask. Maybe even speaking the truth because the Seven of Swords, it's like I can't, I can't lie about this. A lie, can't lie about this anymore. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't waste my time anymore. Sit here and think about it. So somebody's been thinking. Like I said, he's been watching this woman. We have a man that has been watching a woman, probably you know, not able to step outside of his comfort zone, not able to step outside of his head, not sure if you know, what he wanted, and now he's probably come to the conclusion that, you know, it's time to, to fight. It's time to fight. All right. So we have these memories of the past. This could also be a past life relationship or a past life connection. This could be a, a past lover as well. Um, it looks to me like Somebody has been deceived in the past. There's been a lot of deceit in the past. That has caused somebody to be really discontent and sad and disheartened because of their inability to step forward. You know what I mean? 
somebody has wanted to step forward, they've been thinking about it, but perhaps, I mean, children could have been a factor here in a way, well, they, I don't know why, but it looks as though we have some man that is about to take take the lead, you know, he's about to make some sort of demand or, or, and I don't know if demand is the right word, he's about to take a stand, you know, he's about to um, set order to a situation, okay, so he sees that this woman is his queen, she is the queen, and he sees it. And she's, because she is the queen, there's competition. Other people can see it too. There's no doubt that there's competition. And so now there's an opportunity to have a fresh new beginning if he decides to not let this offer slip away, which it, I'm not sure if it already has slipped away. I'm not sure. We're going to get some more cards here. But somebody has wasted an awful lot of time not moving forward. It looks like the ship is about to sail out of sight, okay? The ship is absolutely about to sail out of sight. So this person knows that. They do know that. And they're probably they may decide to come clean. They may be, decide to come clean and go and fight and be the hero. So I you know whatever this is, I feel like somebody is about to fight because of that armor. They're about in the, they're about to fight for this queen. I'm going to fight for my queen. It's my queen. It's my queen. Um, interesting. What is, what is this over here? Yeah, loss of abundance. Uh, end of a relationship. Somebody, and they don't want it to end. Somebody doesn't want it to end or Somebody has given up. Somebody has given up on a solid opportunity, really. They have. And it looks as though perhaps another, one of these people has completed a cycle. This is a completion. Maybe even moved. Somebody may be moving. family feud of some sort or family family issue perhaps somebody has wasted their time because of their own issues at home or something like that or their own lack of abundance they didn't come move forward perhaps because they didn't think they had enough to offer or something but now we have an we absolutely have an opportunity for a new beginning here because this is a in reverse it's actually it are, it's actually pretty good because it's it's the, it's the beginning of something it's like the completion has happened and now we have a new beginning and we do have a fresh start here we have a fresh new beginning here after something died you know, after there, after something died, I mean, the spark was put out. So I feel like somebody wants a fresh start or they want to start a new life or they want to start a new path. Because wherever they were at, there was too much tension and there was no growth and there was no spark and there was no fire. No excitement, and, and, all, and they want that back. They want that back. The grass wasn't greener. The grass wasn't greener. Wherever they were at, there was no growth. <laughs> I don't know who this is for. Somebody is walking away from something, and they want to go back to something else. I don't know who this is for. But somebody wants to to go back. They want to go back. They want another chance or they want a chance. Looks to me like this person has already walked away though. Headed towards the competition. <laughs> That's what this is. This person sees that this person is headed towards the competition. 
They walked away from the deceit. This person walked away from the deceit. They walked away from the lies. They walked away from the cheating towards this new beginning, right? Now they have a hero coming to save them. Interesting. Whoever this person was that was just thinking about it didn't offer anything solid. There was a lot of fighting, whatever there was. I don't know, but they wasted their time. And now they're seeing the light. Somebody is seeing the light. <laughs> Coming out of the darkness. We have somebody here that has probably been, this is victim mentality, and this is victim mental, mentality. This could be as well. Somebody has been playing the victim when in fact they really weren't a victim. And now we have an opportunity for something stable, solid, secure, and long-term. A golden opportunity, perhaps with someone new. I don't know. It could be somebody from the past as well, though. It could go either way. This could even be a past life relationship. But we do have a golden opportunity for abundance after some sort of abundant relationship or lack of abundance or whatever has been lost okay something some some sort of a commitment probably wasn't authentic or something it wasn't stable that's for damn sure and somebody was cheated somebody was cheated of their abundance Maybe they cheated themselves. Whatever. And now they don't want to cheat themselves. They don't want to cheat themselves. They don't want to, they don't want to cheat themselves of this happily ever after. So they have to come out of their head and make this offer. Or lose it all. Lose that happily ever after. Lose it all if you don't take a stand. So we do have a new opportunity here for something long-term solid and stable with somebody that you have known before and this could be a past life relationship justice is being served absolutely it's right on a silver platter at that Justice is absolutely being served. It looks like whatever is happening is like the final decision is being made. What is going to bring balance? What is going to be the just thing to do? Somebody is about to tell the truth to bring balance to their lives. They're about to speak the truth and do whatever it takes to... come out of this on top, you know, to come out of this the winner, you know, if you think about fair and just, you know, I want to, I need to, I want to, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be truthful to win this queen. So I feel like we have a man here that is going after his queen with the truth. There could have been another person, a monkey in the middle. There could have been a monkey in the middle. Uh, could be any sign. Somebody that held them back from moving forward, okay? Caused them to lose their focus and their concentration. Pulled them down for a minute. 
held them back from making that offer, but it looks like now this person is probably being released. That, whatever that is. Yeah, too heavy to carry, too burdensome, too much, overwhelming, can't do this. Drop it. I can't carry this. Can't carry this load anymore. It's too heavy. It's too burdensome. Somebody has come to the point of... I, I can't do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I can't lie anymore. I can't. I can't. Somebody has been lying and they can't lie or they can't pretend. They can't deceive themselves. They don't want this person to walk away. I got to do whatever I have to do to protect this queen of mine. I got to have this. This is my queen. I got to have it. I got this is my queen. So I feel like we have somebody here that has been holding on to some sort of baggage, I think, too. We have baggage here and baggage here. Holding on to a baggage, holding on to a grudge, holding on to some sort of whatever it is that has come to a point of boiling over, boiling within them to a point of um, a huge discontent and sadness and I want more this I know that I, I know what I want I need to go get what I want but I need to find the strength to go get what I want and in order to find go get what I want I'm gonna have to be truthful and honest and tell the truth and nothing but the truth and um, do whatever it takes to keep these scales balanced you know I have to put in extra effort I gotta put in extra effort I have to go above and beyond I have to go above and beyond I gotta do whatever it takes to bring justice to this situation whatever it is now this is Hicks of Cups could be a soulmate connection so I think there's there could be a soulmate connection here in which there's an opportunity for this king and queen to perhaps even get married because this could lead to marriage contract. Very long term, lead to something long term. Grudge, the grudge that I was just talking about, absolutely. Holding on to something, a grudge very, very, very tightly. Holding on to that grudge has been overwhelming. It's been burdensome. And it's caused a loss. Okay, that ten of, it's caused a loss. It's lost. Holding on to the grudge has caused a lost, you know, abundance. It has, it's a lost relationship perhaps. Holding on to a grudge has caused loss in life, period. So now we have this person who is probably in the process of thinking about dropping the grudge. Dropping it. So that they can find their wish fulfillment. Or dropping their stance. Or dropping whatever it is that they're holding on to. It could even be fear. Whatever it is. They're holding on to something tightly. That they don't shouldn't be holding on to. Whatever it is that they're holding on to needs to be let go of so that they can find wish fulfillment. Now, there's an opportunity for a miracle here, <laughs> okay, with the star card. It's like a dream come true. I mean, the, there's that star, you know, a wish upon a star. It's, this is a wish upon a star. Your dream come true. So I feel like there is an opportunity for wish fulfillment here with somebody that is about to let go of something that has held them back from pursuing their queen. And they're probably going to communicate with this queen that they have been ignoring or they haven't communicated with out of fear or whatever the case is. So I feel like there's going to be some sort of message that comes in from somebody that has been watching and wants to protect his 
What's his? He thinks it's his. That's mine. She's too beautiful. She's too abundant. She's too everything to let go. And this man sees that. We have a man that sees that this woman is too much to let go. And he's going to do whatever it takes to keep this situation balanced and true. So... I mean, that's what I have. I feel like today is a day of uh, receiving some sort of justice or communication. Or somebody is making a final decision to communicate how they truly feel to a person that they have been probably trying to avoid for some time. But they can't avoid it anymore because there's competition. This is this five of water. There's competition. There's competition. And now we have there's an opportunity for a fresh new start to start over, to go down a new path, to start a new journey without bringing the past, you know, to move, to make a, a big, big move. Now, this could also be literally moving. So, I am going to get an oracle card because that's what I want to do. I'm going to get one of these. December 6th is a day of perhaps receiving some sort of this is the sort of communication it is. Communication from somebody in regards to, you know, this is something, this is a, this could even be, you know, this is, this is something, a gift from somebody. Somebody could be coming to you with a ring. I just saw a ring and I was trying not to say it, but it could be a ring. It could be a, anything that you can touch on a tangible level. Somebody could be coming to you with some sort of gift that is very genuine, put it that way. Extravagant, an extravagant gift. Because the queen, okay, so I just, before we go any further, this is the Nine of Pentacles. This is the Ace of Pentacles. It leads to Ten of Pentacles. That This has been lost. Somebody has been without their Ten of Pentacles. They have been without their happily ever after. Okay? They've been without it. It's reversed. They've been without this happily ever after. This person's been on their own. This person's been on their own making shit happen. In all arenas of her life. <laughs> okay, she's been making shit happen. She's almost got the Ten of Pentacles on her own. Okay? She don't even have somebody helping her. She's like, she's at the Ten of Pentacles without the relationship, okay? So now we have this man that's coming in with that Pentacle to make it the Ten of Pentacles to be in the relationship. So that's what we got going on here. Somebody is coming in with an offer of... A relationship, solid, stable, marriage, whatever it is. Grace and gratitude, it fell out. I think we've had this one a couple times. Through gratitude, joy expands. Somebody is now, and this is a card of gratefulness as well, so definitely. The secret to expanding joy is to cherish the preciousness of life in everything and everything, everyone and everything around you. It's simple, easy, and so very powerful. Be grateful for as much as you can. Thankfulness is modern day alchemy. It can yield happiness, grace, and peace beyond imagination. The secret to a remarkable, fulfilling journey is to allow gratitude to flood you at every juncture. 
no matter what twists and turns there are in the road, whether you are comfortable or uncomfortable, whether you are confident or unsure, no matter what you are experiencing, even if your challenges seem insurmountable, feeling grateful will ease any challenge. Replace darkness with light and allow, and allow yourself to hear the chorus of the angels. Your entire life can transform when you take time to fully, deeply, and profoundly allow the grace of gratitude to fill you. So now I think there's a newfound gratefulness for happily ever after, for abundance, for stability, for security, for wish fulfillment, you know? I think we have a man that has been watching a woman and now he's like, I'm ready. This is what I want. Let me be your hero. Now we've talked about the hero a couple times. Here he is. He's here. Hopefully this reading is for you. There's an opportunity to start over in a new direction. The only thing is, is you can't bring the past with you. The only thing this fool is bringing is what he can fit in that bag, and that's not very much. The past didn't grow for a reason. To have a fresh new start, the past stays in the past. So yeah, there's a newfound grace and gratitude. for happily ever after and it looks like this man is about to take take the lead you know he's about to stand up and protect and do whatever he has to do to get his queen and he's probably coming with some offer that she can take to the bank. And that's what I have. Talk to you next time.